We are on the draw. But I think this is fine, actually. So we got enough mana to run out. Curse Catcher first turn. We can curve out and do a true name. Run out of Null Round if we feel like that's what we need to do. We don't have a Force of Will, so if they do something totally busted, turn one. Not much we can do, but we'll go ahead and keep this one. Alright. So there's a Sapphire. Ruby. Opal. Looks like we might be uh, playing Storm here. Or like... Maybe Grixis Thieves, or like a Tesserator. So Thirst for Knowledge, um, we might see some like Tinker or Time Vault shenanigans. So this Null Rod's gonna be really important. So some fast mana right here would've been great, but as it is, we'll run out of this Curse Catcher. It's possible I wanted to go Island, um, and just in case they have a Wasteland. I don't know if they run Wasteland. Um, just to make sure I can at least try to play this Null Rod turn 2. But Curse Catcher might be able to prevent them, them from uh, going like Paradoxical this next turn. So there's Lotus. So Curse Catcher might not do much if they decide to go for it. So digging pretty hard. So a couple thought casts, but we'll see if they uh, want to keep going here. So there's Time Vault. So do they have the Voltaic Key? So it's three mana. Looks like they might have Tinker. No, looks like they're going to dig for it though. So we might be kind of all in on this Null Rod. So I think a Force of Will draw here would be great. So they don't have any mana floating. So Force of Will would be great, but if not, maybe they don't have one. Nope, so we just gotta go for it. See if they can counter. Nope. Awesome, so sometimes Null Rod just wins the game on its own. We'll see if they have an answer in time. So between their mana crypt, um, and we'll be able to get a clock going, they're uh, not able to make any mana. Yeah, so they're just going to fold to that Null Rod. So definitely want to steal Sabotage. Probably don't need that Dismember. So Hercules Recall is interesting. Trying to think if there's a good reason if it'll like bust up their combo, but they'll just be able to play all their mana rocks again, and then kind of recast whatever they're going to do. It might be a good answer to a Blightsteel Colossus if they have Tinker. Um, so is Steel Sabotage. So I think I'm going to probably bring one in and just take out a couple Phantasmal Images. Actually, I'll bring in another Hercules. So um, Phantasmal Images are pretty versatile, but they're also like one of the first things I cut usually. Um, so we have Strip Mine and Wasteland. Two Null Rods, no blue mana, but we have a lot of blue mana in the deck. 
and no rod can just shut the deck down. So I think I'm going to keep. It might be too slow without any uh, like force of wills, but we'll find out. So they're going to see our hand. Um, they know we're not going to have anything. And they kind of see that we're in on this like null rod plan. So I'll go ahead and F6. So we'll see if they just run something out right now. So there's time walk. So that's kind of bad for us because um, that just gives them one more turn to get out from under this null rod. Here's Trinket Mage for uh, what's probably going to be a Voltaic Key, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have uh, two turns. So there's a Steel Sabotage. This would have been great if we had a blue source. Um, but as it is, we'll just go ahead and uh, see if they're able to put the combo together next turn. They only have two cards in hand, though, and if they're not able to do anything before this Null Rod comes into play, um, you know, or be able to answer two Null Rods, then they're going to be in some trouble. Hey Tux Dev, how's it going? Um, yeah, if you're watching the stream, just to let you know my uh, chat is actually kind of like off to the side. So if I uh, um, miss something for a minute, I'm not doing it on purpose. So still no blue source, but we are going to get to try to play this Null Rod. So it's going to shut off everything but their Ancient Tomb. Alright, so there's a... Force will number one, but uh, fortunately we've still got another one, and they're down to one card. So we'll see if they're able to do anything this turn. All right, so here's try number two. So they're still sabotaged, so now we are probably boned. But they're down to one card, and if we draw a blue source, we might be able to get a pretty fast clock going. And they don't really have much going on on their side except for half that combo. So, uh, cards like Thirst for Knowledge, though, are a good way to get them there. And Recall. So things are looking worse now. But, I mean, they're still kind of just playing do-nothing mana rocks. So I really need a blue source. So that's not it. So if we get a blue source, we're definitely gonna run out of these silver gold depths to try to draw us into more blue. Or an answer to a uh, uh, time vault. Yeah, talk stuff. That's not a bad idea. Um, I mean, the thing is, like, what I'm, what am I gonna wasteland? Like, they've got plenty of mana. I could hit a their ancient tomb, but they're actually doing themselves quite a bit of damage. Um, and they have so much mana. Um, see, I don't even know if it's worth wasteland anything right now. But I have to imagine after all that card draw and then that paradoxical, I'm just dead. I mean, they've seen half their deck now. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Tux Dev. I mean, seeing half their deck, um, they've either found a way to find their other half to combo, or they're just going to Paradoxical again and dig harder. So it was kind of risky keep. You know, it's kind of all in on those two null rods. Um, unfortunately, they had an answer for both. Um, I think in retrospect, I'm still glad I kept that hand. It kind of forced them to have those two answers. And uh, if they didn't, I think that it probably would have been game. But you never know. It's always risky keeping a hand without any immediate interaction. So I still have eight cards in hand. Go ahead and up six, we don't have any answers. Still just beating it with the Drinking Mage. But now I have a feeling even if they don't go off, um, they've probably got some counter spells and stuff. Um, it's gonna be hard to establish a board. So heart rate's about 120. Probably try to get up to like 130 here and just kind of hold that for as long as I stream. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stream tonight. Maybe just an hour or two. Yeah, I think that I'm gonna um, actually concede to that Ballista. Um, with that much mana, they're just gonna be able to use that Ballista to keep my board clear. So I think I'm still I'm kind of happy with what I brought in. Um, I mean, Hercules Recall is kind of cute. Um, even against Paradoxical Outcome, uh, you can do it in response and put everything in their hand and then it won't draw any cards. So I'm actually going to bring in another one instead of a True Dame. True Dame's kind of slow. It's good in like, you know, grindy attrition matches. Um, basically, I'm just kind of playing control here. So we got an Allrad, Force of Will, Curse Catcher. Um, this looks pretty good. Alright, so run out this curse catcher. And we're kind of still in one of those positions now where we're going to have to draw into some more blue. Uh, we got a lot of cards that have a double blue requirement. But the hand's too good with Null Rod to uh, kind of give up. So I got one mana. So Silver Girl's great. Um, that'll be good for next turn. Uh, hopefully we'll land this Null Rod this turn. But we'll go ahead and Curse Catcher, or uh, attack with the Curse Catcher, just in case we're going to have to use it. And then uh, force out this Null Rod. So, we'll Force of Will. So actually, I'm at, um, they do not have another mana. I'm actually a good sack in the Curse Catcher here. And that'll let me keep my Force of Will if I need it. So, perfect. So now they're in a bad spot. I'm trying to think, like, you know, what are they running that can get them out of it? And probably just Ancient Tomb. And then even with Ancient Tomb, they're not able to play any counter spells or uh, another seal test sabotage to bounce. So I don't know if they run any like basic island. So but yeah, so this match just kind of shows you, you know, how soft some decks are to a card like Nalrod. <laughs> 